Today we will discuss a small topic in measure theory that is when do we say that a function a non-negative function defined on a measurable set E is integral. Let us look into it. The definition is given as a non-negative measurable function f on a measurable set E is defined to be integrable over E provided integral over E f is finite. Understood? So, let us look into a proposition. The proposition says that let the non-negative function f be integrable over e. Then f is finite almost everywhere on e. That is we are given a non-negative function which is integrable over e. We need to prove that that function f is finite almost everywhere on e. What do you mean by almost everywhere on e? Almost everywhere on E means you find the set of all x in E such that fx is not finite. Then the measure of that set will be zero. A property holds for almost everywhere on E means that property which does not hold on a set. You collect that set. That measure of that set is zero. So let us look into the proof. For each n in natural number n, you apply Chebyshev inequality and monotonicity of measure to this set. Let us see in detail. Given f is non-negative function and it is measurable. So F is measurable means what? For each real number or extended real number C, the set, set of all x in E such that fx equal to C. See this set. Set of all x in E such that f of x equal to C where C is an extended real number has a measure. The measure of this set is well defined. So we can talk about measure of this set. And of course for each natural number f of x greater than or equal to n you collect all x in e such that f x greater than or equal to n. Then also this set also has a measure. This comes from where given f is measurable. So we can talk about measure of these two sets. And we know that measure has the property of monotonicity. What is monotonicity? That is, if A is subset of B, then measure of A is less than or equal to measure of B. So you look into this inequality. What is this? You collect all x in A such that fx is infinite. And that is a subset of set of all x in E such that fx is greater than or equal to n. Is it true? Yes. So by monotonicity of measure, we have measure of set of all x in E such that fx equal to infinity less than or equal to measure of set of all x in E such that fx greater than or equal to n. Now where from this inequality comes by Chebyshev's inequality? What does Chebyshev's inequality tell us? It tells us that for a non-negative measurable function f defined on a measurable set E and if lambda is any positive real number we have measure of set of all x in E such that fx greater than or equal to lambda is less than or equal to 1 by lambda integral over p f. This is Chebyshev's inequality. For any non-negative measurable function f defined on a measurable set e and for a lambda greater than 0 
a real number. Measure of set of all x means z of x greater than equal to lambda is less than or equal to 1 by lambda into integral of the f. So you look here. We got this inequality by putting lambda equal to n in Chebyshev's inequality. So this inequality is true. Now you consider this set and this part. What is integral over E f? It is finite. Why? Given that f is a non-negative function that is integrable on E. What do the definition of integrability tells us that? Integral over E f is finite. So this integral over f E f is a finite number. And measure of this thing is less than or equal to 1 by n into a finite number. And this is true for every natural number. So what is measure of set of all x in is that fx equal to infinity? It is 0. Take it? Now, what is this? Measure of this thing is 0 means you find all x in e with fx equal to infinity. And that set has much of 0. So, f is finite almost everywhere on E. That's what we need to prove. Hence, our proposition is proved now. Thanks. Hello friends. Let us look into a lemma. That is, Beppo Levis lemma in continuation with my last symbol. Beppo Levis lemma says that let sequence fn be a increasing sequence of non-negative measurable functions on E. If the sequence of integrals, integral over E fn is bounded, then sequence fn converges pointwise on E to a measurable function f that is finite almost everywhere on E. And limit n tends to infinity integral over e f n equals integral over e f and that is finite. So what are we given? We are given a sequence of increasing non-negative measurable functions defined on E. Now we suppose that the sequence of integrals that is the sequence integral over e f n is bounded. Now we need to prove that the sequence sequence fn converges pointwise on E to a measurable function f and also that f is finite almost everywhere on E. Moreover, we need to prove that limit n tends to infinity integral over e fn is integral over e f and is finite. So let us look into the proof. Hmm. We need a result for this. We need a result that is, we know that every monotone sequence of extended real numbers converges to an extended real number. That is, it cannot oscillate. It is a monotone sequence of real numbers or an extended real number and that will converge only to a extended real number that is either to a finite real number or to plus infinity. Now we are given what? We are given a sequence of non-negative measurable functions and that sequence is increasing. So sequence fn is an increasing sequence of extended real value functions defined on it. That is, f1 is less than or equal to f2, which is less than or equal to f3, which is less than or equal to f4, and so on. What do we mean by saying that f is less than or equal to g? f is less than or equal to g means fx is less than or equal to gx for all x in the domain of f and g. That is, here we get f1 of x is less than or equal to f2 of x, which is less than or equal to f3 of x which is less than or equal to so on for all x in e. This is important for all x in e. 
That is, now you consider the sequence, sequence Fn of x. What type of sequence is this? This is a sequence of extended real numbers and is monotonically increasing. From where do we get that it is monotonically increasing? From this condition. For each x, you consider Fn of x, the sequence Fn of x. And that is a sequence of extended real numbers which is monotonically increasing. So what can we say by our result? That sequence converts to a real value, extended real value. And we can make a function, be careful, we can make a function fx as follows. You define fx to be the limit of, pointwise limit of the sequence f n of x. That is for all x in me, we can find fx as limit n tends to infinity f n of x. This exists, why? We already showed that sequence f n x is a sequence of extended real number and is monotonically increasing. So it can converge to either a finite real number or to plus infinity. So this fx is a well-defined extended real valued function. Okay. And of course fx is non-negative. Why fx is non-negative? Each fn of x is non-negative and hence the limit will also be non-negative. So you know monotone convergence theorem. What does it say? You consider sequence of non-negative measurable functions defined on E. Then, if sequence Fn converges to F pointwise on E, then limit n tends to infinity integral over E Fn equals integral over E F for a monotone increasing non-negative measurable function F. So, what we have is that Sequence integral over e fn converges to integral over e f. Is that okay? Okay. Now, we are given that sequence integral over e fn is bounded. What is, what type of sequence is sequence integral over e fn? They are all real number sequences. Because integral over e fn is a real number. And this sequence is bounded. It is given in our theorem. So it is bounded and it is a bounded sequence of real numbers. So we know that it is also it is increasing, monotonically increasing. So we know that it has a limit. What limit is that? It is integral over e f. Okay, so this is bounded. So the sequence of real numbers, since it is bounded, we will have that limit is also finite. It cannot go to infinity because that sequence itself is bounded. So, that limit, what is its limit? Integral over EF. And that is finite. So, we got integral over EF is finite. Now, carefully look into it. We got a function F that is non-negative. Extended real valued function, no matter. That is non-negative. And integral over EF is finite. If we also know that F is measurable, then what can we conclude? Integral over e f is finite means f is integrable. Isn't it? So, since fn is a sequence converging to f, here fn is a sequence converging to f pointwise, we already know that fx is of that function f is measurable. That the sequence of measurable functions converge to a function, then that function f is also measurable. So we know that f is measurable and f is a non-negative function, also integral over e f is finite. That is f is integrable. What we need to prove is that if a sequence of integrable functions integral over e fn is bounded, then sequence fn converges pointwise on e to a measurable function f. So we show that the sequence of function sequence fn of x converts to a measurable function f and we also proved that f is measurable. Moreover, we need to show that this f is finite almost everywhere on e. And 
that is obvious because we already proved a proposition that if f is a non-negative measurable integrable function, then f is finite almost everywhere on e. That is, we got integral by f is finite. This f is a integrable function and hence by that proposition, we can say that f is finite almost everywhere on e. Now, what in addition we have to prove? Limit n tends to infinity integral over e fn is integral over e f. And this path is easy. We already proved it. Now, this path we need to prove. How we will get that? We know by monotone convergence theorem, this thing converges to this thing. And that is what written as this. That is limit n tends to infinity integral over e f n is integral over e f. And that is finite. Hence, our Bepus lemma has been proved. Thank you everyone.